sweet. I got four minutes. Sorry about that. I had to. Um, I don't have much storage left, of course. You know, <laughs> when when you try to do something, like the the enemy just, you know, he starts hitting you, man, bam. But anyway, God's good. God wins every time. So, anyway, where I was at is um, I was watching the 700 Club on my TV. And so, what was so wild about this is, like I said, it was just on. I actually was against Christianity at this point. I, uh, to me, it didn't make sense. Um, I didn't have any family that were Christian besides my Catholic step grandmother. And she uh, was devout Catholic, but um, she used to bring me to mass, and I just didn't feel, I felt, felt weird. I felt like out of place. It didn't make sense to me. I was like, this ain't my people, right? So anyway, fast forward, I'm watching this 700 Club, and I'm crying my eyes out because I'm like, I want to die. I'm ready to, I'm ready, man. I'm, I'm contemplating how I can do this, how I can kill myself, you know? Because I just hated myself as a person. I hated how I treated people, like I said, I was a bully at times. I, I hated my 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 self esteem issues. I hated my 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 appearance. I hated how I spoke. I hated that I was such a sheltered person. I hated that I couldn't just be confident and go out and do what I wanted to do. And I felt like I missed so much of life. I just hated everything. I hated school. I had no hope for my future, and that's really what it came down to. And the devil was really attacking me. In so many different ways trying to get me to die even since i was a child there was different times where i could have died and so god is good he preserved me despite me not knowing him and and uh, i didn't really hear the gospel until that point i never heard the gospel nobody ever came up to me and spoke to me about jesus and this is what's so crazy about our world today is that nobody even speaks about jesus i just talked to a kid the other day and he never heard about jesus and he's a sophomore in high school so it's like this is the first time I heard about Jesus on a TV program. So God can reach anybody anywhere. And so I accepted Jesus as my Savior. I accepted it. Like I said, this is my, this, I said in my heart, it's the last resort. Like, if this doesn't work, I'm going to kill myself. And I, you know what? I, I believe that God heard one of my prayers. Not to Him, but I prayed. I used to believe in aliens. I, and I, in my bed one night, I said, Aliens, if you are real, abduct me. I used to literally say that. I was like, aliens, if you're real, abduct me because I believe aliens are real. I was really studying that as well. And I believe that they could, I've researched the abductions of people. And I believe God saw that as faith, you know, a little mustard seed of faith. And he used that. And that's what's so crazy. Um, and, and, then I, and then he came to me like not long after that, maybe six months or a year later, but his timing was perfect like i said this was like the day where i was like i don't know what it was something set me off but i was like this is, i'm ready to kill myself so i accepted him not really expecting anything to happen and and eventually god started talking to me like showing me he's real i had these like encounters and experiences that god was showing me he was real and i was like dumbfounded because it was tangible it was like i felt his presence i felt um, his love like literally surround me like kind of like what's his name Gabbana the guy the rapper that got saved um, John Gabbana I think his name is uh, he got saved and he had the same encounter with, with, the, with the Holy Spirit of like feeling his presence and his love and that changed me forever once I felt that it was like just changed my life so I might have to do a part three of this uh, it was beautiful and so and so yeah I'm going to do another one, but God had led me to a ministry and also led me to buy a Bible. And at this point, I had a bicycle. I biked four or five miles just to get a Bible.